What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So on the video today, what we're gonna focus on is taking a dated highlighting technique with brassy color and we're gonna neutralize it and we're also gonna add a shadow root to make it more modern feeling. So we're gonna take old stripey highlights, make them modern. It's a great technique that you can use in the salon right away and it doesn't take a lot of extra effort. So I know you guys are gonna like this video. Definitely let me know in the comments below. Let's get started, here we go. All right guys, so now you can see the before. So what we did was we went in, we put some straps in there, some really stripey highlights to give this an a dated appearance. Um, but also what I want you guys to realize is that the reason this looks so dated is because it's brassy and it hasn't been toned. So toners can play a big role in giving your uh, hair color a finished look. No hair color should be done with just bleach. You should be using a toner. So I'm gonna show you guys a toning technique uh, to do a nice shadow root. We're gonna use Paul Mitchell, the Demi Lavender Muted Metallics. It's a brand new tone from them. And then also the 8PA and 6BV to add depth at that root. So you can see how those highlights come right to the root I want to go in and just break that up so I am gonna section this away for me um, this is a pretty standard sectioning that I do on all my hair color techniques uh, because I like to separate the top and the bottom whether I'm doing something different on them or not I like to break it up so I can really get an idea for it and then at the very end if I want to switch it up a little bit I can so I'll twist up that top section I section the hair really just following the hairline and now I'm going to go in with that 8PA 6BV and start working that through the base. Um, I'm going to hurry up and get this done but what I want you guys to, to focus on as I go through it and, and when we speed this up is I'm putting that on the base, not really working it through the, uh, through the ends and then I take the lavender from about two inches from the scalp and I run that through the ends and then I'll work those two tones together. Uh, using in between my fingers. So I just kind of work that back and forth. So I'll run that lavender through and then at the very end, just kind of tap it with my fingers to blend the two tones together. It gives it a nice seamless feel. You'll notice when you look at this, that these tones look very similar and they're very dark. Um, don't be afraid of how dark a tone looks when you're coloring hair. Um, a lot of people get too scared. They take their toner off too early and then they don't get the result that they were looking for. So another thing I want you guys to know about the muted metallics is that they're timed intensity, which basically means that the longer you leave them on the hair, the more intense it gets, the little bit deeper it gets. So if we were working on a lighter level, like let's say a level 10, if I left this on for 20 minutes instead of five minutes, then I'm gonna get a more intense uh, feel. So we are gonna leave this on for 20 minutes to process this whole thing because I want the Demi at the base to get its full process and I'm not worried about um, taking it down a notch on the ends. So we just work that through again from two inches at the scalp. That's the 8PA 6BV. You can do whatever uh, hair color line you use. Um, just know my choices for that were I wanted to have that kind of ashy tone, but then I just add a little bit of that 6BV to bring the depth into the hair color, add a little bit more violet to it. And then at the very back, I do that whole base color. So from the ear to ear on the very back underneath that top crown section that I sectioned away, I color the entire deep tone uh, from scalp to ends because that's the depth underneath and naturally uh, your guests are not gonna have highlights there whether uh, unless you put them there. So. Um, unless you're coloring somebody overall completely blonde um, and still at that point I would put the darkest toner underneath uh, even if I wasn't taking them out of that blonde stage so hope that makes sense uh, let me know if you have questions in the comments but um, that's the way that I would work it and then all the way through this crown area I go through same thing that first two inches um, I run the darker tone a darker level and then I go the lavender from mid shaft to ends and then I just smudge them together to blend them uh, at that base at that two inch mark. Another thing you'll notice that I'm doing is I do comb the hair before I go through each section. Um, this is something you wanna highly saturate because if you don't, um, you're gonna end up with holidays or just hair that doesn't get colored. So you wanna make sure you comb the hair out nice and smooth. I work the hair back and forth. I've sped this video up. Um, I did take a, a little bit of time on this. Um, I don't want you to think it happens super fast because I do really work those tones through. This is a good overhead. You can see the stripiness. So notice how I paint 
um, that deeper tone in that breaks up the stripiness at the base and then I don't mind a little bit of stripiness through the ends because especially if your guest is going to wear their hair a little wavier um, it'll bring out those highlights really make them pop so um, but yeah just go in comb uh, right at the two inch mark and work that through. Finishing up the last section, like I said, I processed this for 20 minutes. You can decide if, you, uh, if you're if you just using the muted metallics, you can leave it on uh, timed intensity like we talked about. So if you want to leave it on a little bit longer, get a little more depth to it. Um, but with the Paul Mitchell, the Demi, I left it on for 20 minutes, processed it through. You can see those tones, how they now melt together. Uh, the whole overall canvas works together. That's what it's all about. That's what makes hair color go from being dated uh, being brassy, being stripy, to being modern. I want to go in with a wand, kind of spice it up a little bit. I love the, seeing the wave to it, but I want to show you guys both versions because the internet likes that. Um, and you can see using a little bit of that Paul Mitchell texture spray really brings the life into this style. Uh, so that is our end result. All right, guys, like always, if you like the video, then make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget, if you wanna be an FSC partner, get access to all the live classes and our online app, FSC On Demand, then all you have to do is go to fscondemand.com. You can sign up, there's a link below. Um, it's $9.99 per month, but you get live classes and also full access to all the previous classes on our app. And you get put on the map that lives on freesaloneducation.com under find a salon. So salons that train with us, get referred by us. If you haven't had a chance, go check that out, fseondemand.com. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's starting to rain. I'll see you guys on the next video.